have a dream, a dream of what I wanna be. I wanna be free. That's what my heart keeps telling me. Give me your heart. We'll find a way. Just before we die, we feel the same. If we help each other, I just know we can succeed. We are one. From all around the world, we share the same sun, we share the same oceans. We are every boy and girl. Come together and share our dreams. We be amongst the stars, and we know that it's destiny, and we are unity. This program is brought you by. Kadi sirvi ikna ganna hundam muhta de, kam meli kam ne hari yani. Ham tana kam vishbi de, mukta de bay vinni. Ditto all ditto. Lamai rokte na kude vishbi je ni sa ledu roge ati venna pulwa. Ditto all vala te ledu roge ati karna vishbi je seat anu na me dashu na me akma vinash karan na pulwa. Amma ke vishwasu ditto la rakshava. This is one way of showing convenience. And my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. They want me to be chill. They want me to be wild. They want me to be healthy. They want me all the time. They want that crunch, the crunch that makes you crunch. Call me by. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. Kadi sirvi ikna ganna hundam muhta de, kam meli kam ne hari yani. Ham tana kam vishbi de, mukta de bay vinni. Ditto all de. लमाइ रोक पे ना कुछ विषय बीच नहीं साले डर रोग आती वैन ना पुलवा ये टोल वाला टेल डर रोग आती करने विषय बीच सीट आनु ना मैं इधर शुभ ना मैं आपको विनाश कराने पुलवा अम्मा के विश्वास है डर टोल आरक्षा वा A milk coffee for me. Money has to be sent to Anna in the morning, and the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Dear for Uyana, 2 p.m. film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain, temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV, lights off. The account that fits my busy lifestyle, BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's youth. Hi fellow scouts, I am Disanti Chamatna from Sri Lanka and today I am going to discuss with you about the history of Sri Lanka. So let's get started. The civilization of Sri Lanka is more than 2500 years old. Its record of history commences from around 6th century BC. In earlier time the island was known by different names such as Serendip Tambapanni, 
and Sihala Dweepa. After the arrival of European colonial powers, it was commonly known as Ceylon. The Aryan settlements were established during the 5th or 6th centuries BC. Primarily in the north central province, Buddhism was introduced by Arahat Mahinda Tero, son of the Indian Mauryan Emperor Ashoka in 3rd century BC and quickly became the religion of the state. The city of Anuradhapura became the seat of the government. On a number of occasions, it had to struggle with self-Indian invaders and in the 11th century AD, the capital moved from Anuradhapura to Kolon Alua. A new era dawned with the admin of the Portuguese who began to occupy the strategic centers of the coastal region of the island since the year 1505 starting from Colombo. By 1597, the Portuguese took former control of the coastal regions of the island. However, they failed to dislodge the powerful Sinhalese kingdom in Kandy with the help of the Dutch. The Sinhalese king was able to expel the Portuguese from Sri Lanka in 1658. The Dutch administration meant by a trading company that was mainly interested in trade and making profits. They handed over their possessions of the islands to the British in 1796. In 1815, British troops defeated the Sinhalese Kingdom of Kandy and became the first European power to rule the entire island. Sri Lanka gained the independence from the British on 1948 and adopted the democratic socialized system of government. In 1972, the country became republic and adopted Sri Lanka as its official name. I Bowen. I am Hansana Bandarapum 5th Candy Scout Group, Vidyata College Candy, Sri Lanka. I would like to tell you about the Temple of the Tooth, Darada Maligava. The Temple of the Tooth is built in the ancient royal city, Candy, which was the last kingdom of Sri Lanka. It holds Lord Buddha's sacred tooth relic. The sacred tooth relic was Born to Sri Lanka by the Princess Hemmali and Prince Danta. It became the symbol of Sri Lankan kingship. So, because of that, this relic was preciously guarded in a special temple during each past kingdoms. In Kandy, the first Dalada Madura was built by King Vimaladharma Surya I. It was destroyed by the Portuguese. The second temple was built by the same location by King Rajasinghe II. It was burned by the Dutch. Later, the King Vimaladharma Surya II built a three-story building and did every Dalada rituals and with great devotions. But with the time, the building was destroyed. Later, his son King Sri Vikira Parakram Narendra Singh built a two story building which we can see today. The last king of Sri Lanka, Sri Vikramaraja Singh, built the octagonal pavilion which is called Patiripua, protecting the relic and conducting religious rituals without a break is being continued to the present under three categories custodians.
Today we are uh, talking about Sigiriya. Today Sigiriya was named named as one of the world heritage site in Sri Lanka. Millions of tourists visit Sigiriya every year. Sigiriya Rock Fortress is built by King Kashyapa. Sigiriya Rock Fortress is uh, considered as one of the world heritage site. This ancient rock fortress is located near the town of Dambulla in the central province. The name of this place is divided from the shape of the lion. Previously, this place was used as a monastery. King Kashyapa. A long time ago, a king called Datusena ruled in Anuradhapura. He had two sons named Mogallana and Kashyapa. Kashyapa was younger than Mogallana, but he wanted to become king first, so he killed his father. Mogallana was very angry. He wanted to kill Kashyapa. Kashyapa was ran away on Radhapura and built a beautiful palace to on top of the rock so that nobody could catch him and kill him. We can see lion gate, mirror wall, water gardens and calves in palace. Water In the rainy season, those water functions are filled with water. Colorful paintings He decorated the sites with colorful paintings. This place was selected by the king during 477, 495, 495 before Christ. මගේ නම ඩීම්ස් පුල් සනේ ප්‍රසිද්ධ ශ්‍රායක මම අරවදපුර ගුවන්වල ලක්ෂ කණ්ඩායමේ ජේෂ්ඨංශයේ බාල දක්ෂයෙකි ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ ජනාවාස බිහිවීම ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ මුල්ම ජනාවාස මුලින්ම මෙරට වාසය කරලා දඩයම් සේ ජීවිත රැගත් වූ නිසා දඩයම් කිරීමට අමතරව තැන් තැන් වල ඇවිද යමින් ඔහු කෑමට ගත් දේ එකතු කරගත්තා වැසි කාලවලදී ඔහු ගල් ගුහාවල ජීවත් වීමට කැමැත්තක් දැක්වුවා වැසි නොමැති කාලවලදී සතුන් ගැවසෙන තැන් වල ඉරිමහානේ ජීවත් වුණා ඒ සතුන් දඩයම් කර ගැනීමට පහසු නිසා එදිනදා කටයුතු වලට වලදී ඔවුන් භාවිත කළේ ගල් නිස දු මෙවලම්ය ඒවා හැඳින්වන්නේ ගල් මෙවලම් නමින් ඊට අමතරව සතුන්ගේ යට කටු වලින් සහ ලී වලින් සෑදු උපකරණ පාවිච්චි කර කැලේ වැවෙන වල්දෙල් වල්කෙස කටු අලාද්දි ඔවුන්ගේ ආහාරයට රන් තියෙනවා ඔවුන් හාවුන් දඬුලේ නුන් ඉත්තෑවන් ඉබ්බන් මීමින්නන් තලගුවින් සහ ගොළුබෙල්ලන් මේ ආහාරයට අරගෙන කල සතුන් අතරින් සමහරක් ඔහු අපේ රටේ නොයෙක් ප්‍රදේශවල ජීවත් වුණා ආභරණ පල දිනට අද අප කැමැත්ත දක්වන අයුරින්ම ඒ කාලේ යාලා මේ යම් යම් අවස්ථාවලදී ආභරණ පැලෙන් තිබෙනවා ඒ ගෙල සරසා ගැනීමට පවිත්‍ර කළ මෝර මාවලයකුත් දතකින් සෑදු පබලුව ගල් ගුහාවකින් සොයාගෙන තිබෙනවා ඒත් ඔවුන්ගේ ඇඳුමෙන් කෙලෙසක සකස් වී තිබූ දැයි මෙතෙක් සොයාගෙන නැත මේ පිරිස් මියේ ගිය තමන්ගේ නෑදෙයින් ගල් ගුහා තුළ සවල්ලා දමා තියෙනවා එසේ වල්ලා දෙමු අගේ ඇට සැකිලි සොයාගෙන තිබේ එය වල්ලා තිබෙන්නේ වකුටු කොටය සමහර ඇට සැකිලි වල රතු පාට ආලේප කර ඇත ඒ පාට සාදාගෙන තිබෙන්නේ රතු ගුරු ගල් නමින් හැඳින්වෙන පොළොවේ ඇති ස්වාභාවික ගල් වර්ගයකිනි මේ කරුණු වලින් පෙනෙන්නේ ඒ පිරිස තමන්ගේ මියේ ගිය අය වෙනුවෙන් අවමංගල චාරිත්‍රයක් ඉටු කර ඇති බවයි ඒ ගල් ඒ ගල් සැදු මෙවලම් වැඩි වශයෙන් භාවිත කළ නිසා මේ රට ජනවාස කළ මිනිස්සු විසූ මූල් යුගයේ හැඳින්වන්නේ ගල් යුගයේ නමිනි ගල් යුගයේ මිනිසුන් අතර සිංහල දෙමළ මුස්ලිම් ආදී වෙනස්කමක් තිබුණේ නැත එමෙනි වෙනස්කමක් අප අතර ඇති වූයේ බොහෝ පසු කාලකදීය විජු රජුගේ පැමිණි නිසා ජනවාස යාප්තිය ගවිතෙන් කිරීමට පුරුදු මේ රටේ පැරැඳුම ජනතාව ජීවත් වූයේ කඳුකර් ප්‍රදේශවල ඒ මීට අවුරුදු හාරදාස ආරජයකට පෙර පමණ ඉහත කාලකදී කඳුකර් ප්‍රදේශවල තැනින් තැන පිහිටා තිබෙන තැනිතල බිම් වල ඔහු වාසය කළහ එවැනි තැනිතල බිමක් හැඳින්වන්නේ සානුවක් යන නමිනි ඔවුන් ජීවත් වූ තැන් වල ධාන්‍ය අඹරීමට ගන්න ගල් සොයාගෙන තිබෙනවා ඒ ඔවුන් ධාන්‍ය වර්ගයේ ආහාරයට ගත් බව පෙනුණ ලොකු සාක්ෂියකි ඔහු මැටිවරන් සෑදූහ මේ කාලයේදී ඔවුන් කර තිබෙන මහත් හපංකම නම් යකඩ සෑදීමට ඉගෙන ගැනීමයි පොළොවේ තිබෙන යකඩ සහිත ගල් උණු කොට යකඩ සාදාගෙන තිබෙනවා සිය දිනදා ජීවිතයේදී අවශ්‍ය සඳහා ඔවුන් ගල් මෙවලම් සමග යකඩ මෙවලම් ද සුළු වශයෙන් භාවිත කරලා තියෙනවා යකඩ උපකරණ වල තිබෙන ශක්තිමත් බව නිසා ඔවුන්ට තමන්ගේ වැඩ කටයුතු වෙනදාට වඩා හොඳින් කරගත හැකි වෙලා තිබෙනවා
ඒයි වරිච්චි ගෙවල් වල ජීවත් වුණා එහෙම ගෙවල් වල වහල කොලාතු සෙවිලි කොට තිබිණි වහල සෙවිලි කිරීමට මනා හෝ ඉලුක් කොළ වේලා ඒව භාවිත කරන්නට ඇත ඔවුන් මීගේ තමන්ගේ නෑදෑයන් වෙනුවෙන් ඔවුන් සොහොන් තන ඇත මල්සිරු කිසි යම් තැනක වල්ලා කාලයක් ගිය පසු ඇට සකිලි ගොඩට ගෙන ආදාහනය කර ඇත ඔහු බස්මාවශේෂ ඒ කියන්නේ මිනි යාළු මැටියෙන් සෑදූ මුට්ටියක දමා මැටියෙන්ම ඉදි කර සොහොනක් තැම්පත් කරලා තියෙනවා මේ අය මුල්ම කාලවලදී කඳුකර ප්‍රදේශවල ජීවත් වී තිබේ ඔහු පසු ඔහු කඳුකරයෙන් පහළ තිබෙන තැනිතල බිම් වලට ගමන් කර ඇත ක්‍රමයෙන් දියුණු කරා ගමන් කිරීමෙන් සිටි ඔවුන්ට ක්‍රමවත් තාක්ෂණයක් තිබූ බවත් ඔවුන් නිපදවා තිබෙන වලන් වර්ග යකඩ මෙවලන් ආදී ඉදි කොට තිබෙන නිවාස වලින් පැහැදිලි වේ Hello everyone. I am Ayan Sinstein from 9 Chilaut of Radhimi Scouty School. The long coming traditions of the Sri Lankans were changed in different ways by the arrival of the Europeans. Because of this situation which our culture faced too, there was a great religious and national awakening in Sri Lanka among Buddhists, Hindus and Muslims and it known as the renaissance of the nation of Sri Lanka. As I told you before, the members of several foreign voluntary organizations, they are called missionary society or missionary organizations. So, there were five societies which came to Sri Lanka in 19th century. London Missionary Society, Baptist, Wesleyan, American and Church. These missionary organizations also received state sponsorship and used education, writing, lecturing and social work to spread their religion throughout Sri Lanka. These missionaries followed many ways to propagate their culture by using education. All of the above done by under the state sponsorship. However, this step by the missionaries led to a significant improvement in education in the country. This is a good result of missionary education that has taken place in this country. They published various books which included religious facts and information and distributed around the country the holy bible and other books which related to christianity were translated into our language these writings spread the idea that buddhist and hindu religious practices are useless this situation turned into a threat to the sri lankan religions and culture buddhist hindu as well as islamic religious leaders had taken various steps against this establishment of pirivanas such as paramadamma chetiya pirivana radmalana vidyodaya pirivana maliga kanda vidyalankara pirivana early good use of print media such as sarasavi sandarasa lakmini pahana singhara jati five great debates which held by migittu atte gunananda thero anagarika dharma pala sir henry still old cat Ikkodesi Sumangala Thero also helped for this renaissance as great leaders. Aar Muganavala is a religious leader of Hindus and he helped to protect the Hindu culture as a great leader. The leaders like Ponnambalam Ramanathan, Ponnambalam Arunachalam, Siddhi Lebbe and T.B. Jaya were raised against the Europeans and protect the Islamic culture. In this way, the Sri Lankan religious leaders came together and worked together to defeat the threat posed to them and to protect the culture of Sri Lanka. සරදි මේ අපූර්ව මිනිසා මීට වසර 150කට යහා යුගයක මහා බල සම්පන්න සුදු අධිරාජ්‍යවාදයට එරෙහිව කළ හපන්කම් සුළු කොට තැකිය නොහැකි සරදියල් යනෝ මේ රටේ දුප්පතාට ආදරය කළ අධිරාජ්‍යවාදීන්ගේ යකඩ සපත්තුවට පෑගී තැලුණු ජනතා වෙනුවෙන් නොබියව සටන් කළ වීරයෙකි ෂර්වුඩ් කැලේ සිටි රොබින් හුඩ් මෙන්ම උතුවන් කන්දේ සූර සරදියල්ද වීරේ සරදියල් උපන්නේ 1832 වසරේදී සරදියල්ගේ සම්පූර්ණ නම දීකිරි කෑවගේ සරදියල්ය පියා කරත්තකරුවෙකි සුළු ව්‍යාපාරිකයෙකි පියා නමින් දීකිරි කෑවගේ අදාසියක් පෝය පිඩෝහාමි යනු සරදියල්ගේ මවය මම්මලේ මරික්කාල් යනු සරදියල්ගේ අවසානයේද දක්වා එකට සිටි මිතුරාය සරදියල් කුඩා කල සිටම ආයුක්තියට අසාධාරණයට එරෙහිවුවෙකි 
ඔහුගේ මිතුරා වූ මම්මලේ මරිකාර් කොළඹ හමුදා බැරැක් එකට බැඳී සේවය කරද්දී සරදියල්ගේ ඉල්ලීම මත කිනියවියක් පන්නා ගනු ලැබිය. එතන් පටන් ඔහු දුප්පතාගේ හිතවතා වෙන්නේ මින් අධිරාජ්‍යවාදීන් හා අධිරාජ්‍යවාදී ගැත්තන්ට එරෙහිව සටන් ඇරඹීය. සරදියල් වරක් අරණායක අරක්කු ගබඩාව කඩා දෙමීය. එහි තිබූ සුද්දන්ගේ අරක්කු මෙන්ම වටිනා දෑ ලබාගෙන දුප්පතුන්ට බෙදා දුන්නේය. मोलिगोड़ वलवर नितर खड़ापेन वास्तु दुपतुंड बेदादी महनोर मार्ग से अधिराज्यवादी बड़ बाहिराट सारदियालिया वरक सर्दील रात्रि खंडों उड़े रट सकेने या मिंती बो मुदल तो गया कतरा मग दी पहर गाती है पशु बाल में टे ये मुदल गातु कम करवाएं हम गे वैटोप गे वाले मुदल है सर्दील के हित खड़ा बैठे में ओह मुदल आपसों दी यान नट गई है सर्दील दुपहर तो उनका आदरे कले ए पारित दिनी सर्दील आवश्यं इधर महानुवर पुलिसीय साजन मागाट सहा कोस्तापल सबान विसिन अत्तरंग उटे कैनी मटे पैर सारदी एल्विसिन कोस्तापल सबान वेडितबा मरा देमी है एक दस अट से हैटात्रे अप्रैल दा हात्रे वेंदा नाडु विभागे आरंभ करेनी पुत्गिरे अन विसी देदेने कुटे वैडी पीरिस अगे केन प्रश्न करेनी साक्षी वटे केंदु पीरिस अगे दूस प्रदेश तक्वा बोगंबर रदी सिटी ओहुगे वीरत्वेट उपहार दक्वीमट विय नुहकित कम मेली कम नहीं हरियाणी हम तन कम विश बीज मुकटे तो बाय विन्ने डिटॉल डिटॉल लवाई रोकते न कुछ विश बीज नहीं साले डर रोग आती वैन न पुलो आम डिटॉल वाला टेल डर रोग आती करने विश बीज सीट आनू ना मैं दशम नामे आप में विनाश कराने पुलो अम्मा के विश्वास है डिटॉल आरक्षा वा This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. A milk coffee for me. Money has to be sent to Anna in the morning, and mm. the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Dear for Uyana, 2 p.m. film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain. Temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV. Lights off. The account that fits my busy lifestyle, BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's youth. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection.
大家好，我是佛光童军旗山团的张金平吧。我的主题呢是介绍金门的知名历史文物风西野。那首先先从金门地理位置以及它的历史开始说起。金门呢因为地理形势的缘故而得名，在明朝的时候便已经逐城巩固海防，且因为临近厦门，自早期便已扮演着重要的战略据点，时间长达五十余年。而在民国八十一年军事上的管制解除后，金门便开始迈入发展观光产业的新时代。到了民国九十年，金门厦门间小三通正式启动之后，金门转而成为两岸互动的关键角色。而有关金门的自然环境，在政令的宣导以及民众自发想法，依赖着所有人的共同努力之下，大量植树造林。如今呢，岛上的绿树成荫，景致优美，而鸟类的种类数量也因此增加，保育类动物等也能在金门的沿海见到。人文部分，金门结合产业与文化。呈现出极富乡土风味的金门特产，诸如钢刀、贡糖、高粱等等，再加上原先的气候、土壤、水质等条件，更使得金门的物产远近知名。那风师爷的出现是基于金门的地理因素。金门在元代的时候开始设立盐场，大举的伐木作为燃料之用，导致当时的林木颇受破坏，而明代的倭寇也不断侵扰。后来呢，郑成功又砍伐树木，以取得制造军舰的材料。清朝了，灭掉了郑氏政权之后，伐木弃地，还迁移了岛上的居民。那这些种种因素，导致金门岛上的林木几近全无，风害因此非常严重。居民生活渐趋稳定之后呢，就开始慢慢的设置风势野以镇风。那这边介绍了常常能在明信片或者是节目上看到最为知名的琼林风师爷，高近两公尺。那他在二战之后呢，因为驻军的部队施工问题。I want. We are here in Malagata Pottery Village, which is located in Kegol, Sabaragama Province in Sri Lanka. Pottery of Sri Lanka is one of the traditional small industries. The pottery industry is distributed almost throughout the country and it has a long history and a tradition. There are, there are pieces of evidence about the history of pottery in Sri Lanka that was back to the 2nd century BC. This has become an unbroken tradition that was passed from generation to generation. Zubair. I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm studying at Zara College, Maunalla. Sri Lanka's old coins collection. Currency of Sri Lanka use can be divided into following periods under the Pure era, Palanarwet to Kote era, Kendi era, Colonial era, post independence period, since establishment of the Central Bank of Sloan. And there were so many coins established. First of all, we can look at 
this coin. This coin. 99 and this was a standard circulation. This value was 5 cents. This coin was made by copper nickel and square with rounded corner shape. Reverse of this coin has denomination. A verse of this coin has first thing write it is Edward Sovan King and Emperor. And now I'm going to show you another coin. This coin has established by 1926. This value was half cent. This coin was made by copper and this white is 2.3 gram. This was a round shape. Coin. Reverse of this coin denomination outside circle palm tree and Sinhala English and Tamil lettering within. Obverse of this coin crown burst facing left is King George V and Emperor of India. Now let me show you third coin. This coin was published in 1944 and this was made by nickel brass coin. This value was 2 cents. This coin was 18 mm and also is called shape with 8 notches. Reverse of this coin is denomination. Obverse of this coin is King George VII and Emperor of India. And this is my fourth coin. This coin had established in 1945. And this coin has made by bronze. This value was 1 cent. This coin was 2.36 gram. And also this round shape coin. Obverse this coin is crown bust facing left side. It was George Sawan King, Emperor of India. Reverse of this coin is denomination. Outside circle palm tree and Sinhala Tamil and English lettering. Now I am going to show you my fifth coin. This coin has established in 1951. This is one of my favorite coin. This value was 25 cents. This coin was made by nickel brass and also this is round shape coin. A verse of this coin was crowned bust facing King George the Sixth. Reverse is denomination. There is different in your system. It is mean between 19 and 51 there is crown in this coin. This is my sixth coin. It was published in 1970 made by Nicol Bros. This value was 5 cents and this was 3.24 gram. And also a square weight on that corner shape. A verse of this coin is coat of arms with salon in English, St. Hela and St. Are you born one? I am Samiki Tarundi at the Korele of Mount Calvary High School. Today I will be presenting you about the history and use of my mother language, Sinhalese. Also known as Sinhala is a language endowed with a rich and colorful history. It is native to the Sinhala people living in Sri Lanka. In its original form, Sinhalese was known as Helabasa, with the influence of into Aryan language, Sinhalese developed along independent lines because of Sri Lanka's isolation from mainland India. Later, it was combined with Pali, the sacred language of Buddhists, and Sanskrit. The word Sinhala comes from Sanskrit term Simha, meaning lion blood. Excavation in inner city of Anuradhapura gives evidence that we possessed a writing script as far back as 6th century BC. Several pieces of pottery with early Brahmi letters indicated that we had a script. Sinhalese is written using a Sinhala script which is a descendant of ancient Indian Brahmi script. As Sanskrit shares similarities with Latin and Greek languages, Sinhala also have some connections with those languages. 
Portuguese, Dutch, English words also have become an integral in everyday singular. By 1250, a literary singular language was formed. The singular language we are using today is comparable to the 1250 version. The singular alphabet is used for writing singular language as well as Pali and Sanskrit. There are 60 letters in the singular alphabet. Now let's talk on the sources of ancient singular literature. Siebas Lakare is the most ancient volume of poetry found in Sinhalese classical literature. It was written in the latter period of Anuradhapura kingdom. There is no direct reference to an author, but in the 407th verse, it indicates that this was written by a king named Salavevan, also known as King Sena. Ibo. 
මැණික් ගැන කතා කරද්දී ලෝකයේ වැඩිම අවධානයක් යොමු වන්නේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවටයි. මැණික් පතල් කැනීම රත්නපුර ජනතාවගේ චර්යාවක්. ඒ වගේම කාලයක් තිස්සේ පැවතගෙන එන සිරිතක්. සෞභාග්‍ය වාසනාව Nirogi sampat gene innatat apala upadrava palawa harinnatat menik sampatata haki bawata viswasaya janathawa tula thiyena lo pawathina thuru menik sampatata athi illuma adu nonu athi ियडियो King Devana Pindisa was the ruler of Sri Lanka. King Ella was a Tamil king who ruled the north of Sri Lanka. Later 25 years King Dutugamun killed the Ella by a single combat. Damodeni, Yapu, Kurunagal, Gampol caught the kingdom to Bilish respectively. Later Portuguese managed to secure a trade agreement with the Kota kingdom. Kota era I am Vihanga Satsani from Mount Gallery High School. Today I am going to present you about historical background of the Gold Fort as a World Heritage Site. It is the only living fort in Sri Lanka. Construction belongs to Portuguese, Dutch, and English can still be seen today. It is the only cultural World Heritage Site in Gold District of Southern Province. On 15th of November. 155 Lorenzo de Almeida a Portuguese national from Goa arrived at the port of Colombo with the Vijaya Colle in 1521 the Portuguese took the control of the coastal areas of Silo Portuguese first stepped up camps in Blackford side in 1640 the Dutch captured the Blackford of the Portuguese part of the fort was completed by Dutch in 1669 and by English in 1873 a detailed map of all those items can clearly be observed through this map in 1793 the dutch fort was captured by the english formerly a fort it was annexed by british as a center of control Various buildings have been designed accordingly. After the English, Gold Fort functioned as a traditional city, old clock tower, which was built in 1707. Now you can observe two light houses. No, these are not two light. Yes, these are two light houses. First one was built in 1848. It burned. damaged and destroyed for that in 1940 a new lighthouse was built this is the old dutch bell tower now you can observe a major part in colford voc logo of the dutch indian company is affixed on the side of the old door of the gold You can see you can see two photographs of gold fort in two centuries. First one in 1900 and second one in 2004. This is the same wall 
all for get the outside photograph. Now you can see the old Portuguese black fruit. Dutch Protestant church, which was built in 1752, can be seen now. Anglican church can be visible in the screen now. Old hospital, which was built in 1759, can be observed now, but now it is a shopping complex. Two photos of post office and library, which was taken in different ages, can be seen now. Old one in this is the old one, and this is the new one. Main store of Goldford is clearly visible now on the screen. I hope you all know this place. This is the office of archaeologist, which was built in 1796. You can see two photos of Crescent Court complex. This is the one and only temple situated in Goldfoot. This is one mosque in 1904. I hope you all know this place. This is the Methodist Church. New Fort Gate can be seen now. This is the old prison cell and this is a major part of Goldfoot. Central courtyard and well in an old Dutch house. The program was brought to you by This is one way of showing convenience and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there and everywhere. Now brought on to my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. A milk coffee for me? Money has to be sent to Anna in the morning and mm. the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Diafa Uyana, 2 p.m. film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain, temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV, lights off. You know the account that fits my busy lifestyle? BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's youth. They want me to be chill. They want me to be wild. They want me to be healthy. They want me all the time. They want that crunch. The crunch that makes you crunch. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought on to my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. I just know we can't